Good morning. It is currently, uh, I have no idea what time it is. It is morning time though. It is September 8th, I believe today. I am looking rosy, cheeked, and fresh this morning. I got a little bit of sun. The scalp on my head is definitely burnt. Um, my mom just left this morning. She was here visiting and we went uh, downtown and did a lot of walking on one particular day while she was here and we all got a little bit of sun. But besides that, I am hanging out and checking in. I, I've filmed quite a bit since I've been here in the new house, um, but I don't, it's all kind of like, my, I've been really scattered. My brain has been all over the place. I haven't been able to concentrate. I haven't been able to get things straight, like at all in general. So I think I'm going to scrap all of the clips that I've filmed up until now and start a refresh right here with a quick, uh, sorry, with a quick like overview and update for you guys. I think I am about ready to start filming podcasts again. So expect one of those soon. I may film one um, tomorrow during the day. Brad is off work, but he is supposed to be going to the DMV tomorrow to get his driver's license. So his Pennsylvania driver's license. And while he's gone, I may film a podcast. Because I work tomorrow afternoon as well, so I'll need to be getting dressed and everything anyway. I work today too, but I don't want to film today. It's not it's not the day. It's not the day. I'm trying to relax now that the house is empty. Mom was here for since Thursday. And today's Tuesday. So she was here for four, four or five days. I don't know. I still can't keep anything straight. So yeah, what I'm doing today is I am going to be... I need to go down to the basement, that's where mom was sleeping. I need to clean up down there, get the air mattress put away, and start a little laundry. I cleaned up in the living room a little bit, it's still a mess. I have a basket, a laundry basket of clothes to take upstairs. And I need to take that blanket upstairs because uh, mom was using it. It gets cold in the basement. But I've been sitting here, I was watching Nitty Natty's new uh, Day in the Life vlog for Labor Day weekend and working on, this is <laughs> hashtag not sponsored by Nitty Natty, but I'm also working on one of Natalie's patterns. I started my Louisiana Street shawl that has been on my to knit list for months, a very long time, a very long time, more than months probably, because I've had the yarn for it sitting in my stash as well. But I finally decided that I wanted something easy. I finished a pair of socks that I was working on and I wanted easy and not another pair of socks. And it is feeling real fall outside. And so I thought a, a shawl would be a really good option. But I'm this far on my Louisiana street. I'm using Hedgehog Fibers yarns. They're skinny singles. And I'm using two which are smaller than the pattern calls for, but I'm gonna be adjusting the stripes a little bit. But I'm using the color Guppy and the color, I don't remember the name of this color, but it is on my project page on Ravelry. But anyways, that's the, that's, that's, that's the update for this moment, but let me tell you a little bit about everything else that's been happening. I have coffee creamer I need to put away but oh the air's on and it's loud we moved in we did not have central air we had to have it installed and it is it is installed now which is great but we are in the new house and I can turn the camera around and show you a little bit of what's what's going on um, but, okay, we're in the new house. We don't have all of our furniture yet. 
this room, this big empty room full of recycling is the living room where the couch is gonna be, but the couch won't be here until the end of this month. And then the studio needs a couple more things, but is mostly in working order. And I'm excited to vlog a little bit of that. I am gonna be doing a tour soon, trying to decide if I wanna wait for more furniture or not. But I'll show you a little bit of that in just a minute. Besides that, oh, and we need a desk for Brad's PC. I'll show you that too. Let's do a quick tour of the house. All right, I'm standing at the front door. Um, I still have a lot of cleaning to do, you know, after having a guest, you gotta, you gotta do a little bit more cleaning because you don't do as much of the like little daily cleaning stuff. So ignore mess. There's, there's quite a bit of it. We have a recycling pile here. I need to sort through it because some of it's trash, some of it's recycling, and some of it is boxes we are going to keep that need to go downstairs. But this will be, this is our living room. Like I said, there will be a big couch in here whenever it arrives. I've arranged most of our stuff. This is my coffee station. This needs to go downstairs. We have this set up right now. I have my comfy chair with my messy table. We have our TV and all of our consoles and then Brad's new gaming PC is here for right now. We are going to be getting a desk and the desk will be going here with Brad's chair and all of his gaming stuff. And the TV will move to in here. We're not 100% sure. We are getting a TV in here for you know the couch. But originally the plan was to keep a TV in here over here with the consoles and also a TV in the other room so that we could have both rooms active. But yeah, this is this room. Let's give you a little panoramic shot. Like I said, it's a mess. You know, I got stuff I need to take upstairs, stuff I need to take downstairs, recycling to take out, dishes to do. Uh, this is our little kitchen. I have some butter out warming because I wanted to eat some bread. <laughs> and I just left a mess on the counter and pizza from last night. It's a disaster, but it's okay. It's okay. This is our little backyard. Put, you want to go out back? He was napping, so I don't know if he wants to go out back. But this is our little backyard. I finally got some plants. I got a bucket of flowers there and some cilantro. No, oh, there he is. No. Leave those ladies alone. There. Come on your business. And then I got uh, this flowering plant here. It's starting to bloom, but the bees seem to really like it, so. Yeah, this is our little, little yard. What you doing, boy? I don't know if he wants to come inside or if he wants to stay out here. You want to stay outside? Well, I don't have time to wait for you. Mm. He'll let me know if he wants to come inside, I'm sure. That closet, this is a closet right here. Um, with our coats and cold weather stuff in these boxes and extra toilet paper, just general storage stuff. But it's also the entrance to the basement, which I will not show you because it's not important. And then upstairs is where the bedrooms are and the main bathroom. Got laundry to put away. It's Tuesday, so it's the clean bath, cleaning the bathroom day, but I haven't done it yet, so we won't look too closely at the bathroom or the bedroom. We just have laundry on the floor and an unmade bed, but you know what? This is real life. This is the bedroom. This is my most recently finished knit, inside out, but it's my foolish sweater. It's got this lace panel on the back. It's really cute, it's really soft, and it's really comfy. So. Then, this is the studio. It is still a work in progress, very much so. 
I still have to find things to do with this pile, this pile, this pile. I have to unload this box. And I'm not, this is just kind of finagled there to tide me over until I can figure out a storage solution over here as well. So, yes, this is the studio so far. We have a closet. There's plenty of storage space in the closet, so I may get a little shelf to put in there. This is my work table for, you know, practical things. Don't look too closely at that envelope. That's an Etsy order. I got my new office printer, and I got my office printer paper and label paper, and some notebooks in here, and my scanner, little things. That I need to keep by my computer at all times. I have my work table here, my uh, my drafting table, which is where I actually paint. My wallet is sitting there for some reason, but I actually got some drawing done yesterday. I got a stack of sketches over here for my Patreon rewards for this month. Started hanging up some things on my little clippy string. I'll show you the, the thing behind me last. I got my mirror and my two inspirational prints here. And then in this room, I have mostly set everything up. Well, the audio quality in here is different. <laughs> the ceiling is lower in here than it is in the other room, so. It's less echoey. Also, there's more stuff and it's smaller, so there's less sound bouncing around. But I need to find uh, something to do with this pile. I think there's probably a Sterilite container downstairs that I can use. But um, yeah, that's all stuff that needs to be stored away. So I need to find something to do with that. These random little things. But I got my new printer. Oh, it's, she's beautiful. Brand new, shiny. Exactly the same as my old printer, except this is a Pro 10, not a Pro 100. So they're exactly the same printer, just one has a pigment ink and one has dye ink, and this one is uh, light fast. So my prints will be archival quality now, which is great, quite an investment, but worth it. And then my silhouette cutter, and then like print papers, uh, art print papers and label papers and sticker papers and all that kind of stuff is over there. And then this is my glorious new shelving unit. It is the Ivar from Ikea. And let me tell you, putting this thing together by myself was a chore. I put the big section together first because then I figured I could just tack the little section on on the side, which is, you know, correct. But oh my God, the thing did not want to stand at all until I got these cross braces on. It was just flopping around. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff. This studio looked like I put the furniture in and it looks so beautiful and clean and this thing too until I got all my stuff unpacked. I think it need I think I need another purge. I need to do some sort of something. I don't know. But this entire shelf here is inventory. Like I have washi tape, stickers, these are zines, these are mini Looking at the boy down there. I thought I heard something. Anyways, mini frames and mini paintings, oh, all kinds of stuff. This is also inventory here, these two. This is all pins and this is all stickers, like vinyl stickers. And then this is all uh, paper and there's some more stickers on top, like that white stack of stickers, but these are papers for packaging stickers. And then, this is all art paper and illustration board. This is all packaging stuff, packaging stuff, packaging stuff, packaging stuff. Mailing things like these are stamps and envelopes. Miscellaneous stuff up here like tapes and varnishes. And then this is a uh, storage. Wait, hold up. Are these empty? I think those might be empty. I guess I know where that stuff's going. Uh -huh. All right, I'm, I'm a clever person, I'm clever. I, I totally remembered that those were 
I specifically bought those for storage and that they were totally not empty. Anyways, I got more storage there. I got stuff stored under here. It's a disaster, but getting very close, very close. The only things left I want in here is I want something here, like a shelf or something to put things on. And I want a pegboard up here. I'm gonna get a double Ikea pegboard so I'll be able to hang a lot of this crap up on it. And I think that's it. I may need to figure something out about this, but that may figure itself out if I get a shelf over here. So I'm not sure yet, but that's, that's what I got. Let me turn you around. Okay, so what happened? I'm gonna walk and talk with filming the process of like um, shopping for all the furniture and stuff from Ikea is we went to Ikea. I was ready to film. We moved in the weekend before school started. So it was the same weekend that students were moving in because we have a ton of universities around here. And every single university student and their family was at Ikea and everything was sold out. And we could only get a few, we only ended up getting a few things. It was super busy and stressful. And then we only ended up getting a few things before leaving and having to order stuff online. So, did not film in Ikea. And it's just been, moving is stressful. Moving is hard, especially leaving uh, the state. It's a great angle. Just gonna break down this cardboard. But yeah, leaving the state is really hard, like leaving your whole family, settling in somewhere new. I found a job. Hey, stop. Did someone just fall? Sorry, he was trying to escape out of the gate. And if he tried really hard, he could. So I have to keep an eye on him. But yeah, so it was just stressful. There was a lot going on. It was, it's, it did not happen. But we are finally in a place. I have a job now. Would help if I didn't like knock you down. None of these angles are flattering. Just hold you, just hold you right here. But yes, I have a part-time job. So I have started working. It's starting to feel, you know, like we actually live here. Brad's settling into his new clinic and yeah, it's good. We've started, you know, just getting normal bills, which is nice getting all set up, all the normal boring stuff that happens when you move. So, and now that the studio isn't just a pile of boxes, I feel good about starting to podcast again, which is great. And I'm going to keep this easy for myself. This vlog that I'm filming right now, this clip or these clips, I'm going to keep those easy for myself and I'm going to not film a bunch of random clips. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to upload this vlog here very shortly. And then I'll be able to do, I need to make a decision about when I'm doing the studio tour. I might hold off until I get those last couple pieces of furniture, but I need to get paid again before I get those as well. So, but we may make another trip out to Ikea instead of ordering it because they probably restocked by now. I can check online. But once I get paid again, we'll be able to make our way over there and maybe take a trip. So, yep, that's it for this clip. I may check in later today, but man, starting podcasting again later this week is going to be wild. It's going to be like starting from scratch completely all over again because... Nothing I was working on in my last podcast is still being worked on, pretty much. Except uh, there's a couple of long-term things, but pretty much nothing, everything has, has been long finished. And so many things have come in the mail. I've ordered so much stuff. I have started and finished projects. I've started new projects. Oh, it's, oh, oh man. So yeah, that's gonna be an adventure. But hopefully that'll be up this week because our internet here is great. So um, it's much easier to edit and upload videos. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll check, um, I'll, I'll probably check back in with you later, at least to say goodbye if I don't film any more clips. 
but I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna knit some more. I might draw a little bit today, but I have to work this afternoon, so I might not. <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Look at him, him little. Good morning, it's me, bright and early, fresh faced. I forgot to uh, film a clip yesterday before I left for work and by the time I got home, it was too late. I was very tired, but I wanted to show you what came in my Hello Gabriella package yesterday. I got, like I said, it is the Ball Club and it was a, uh, a subscription, a three month subscription for fall. And I get, this is the first package of three. This is the September package. And then I also got three more packages yesterday. <laughs> it was a good day in the regular mail because my Hello Gabriella came in the USPS or UPS. Okay, Hello Gabriella came with these. It came with an, a print too, but it's in a pile over here. But let's let's see. Actually, I must I'm gonna flip you around. This I got. This skein of yarn. This is my male trash. But look how beautiful this red is. It's so cute, and it also came with a stitch marker that was attached to something. But it is. Turn, please. Oh, I think it's you. It's a stone and it's got a gold leaf on it. It's very cute. Very autumnal. Very much my speed. And it also came, like I said, it also came with an art print. But let me show you real quick what else I got. For yarny goodies, I got another coast to coast order. <laughs> I have a problem, you guys. I actually counted my Coast to Coast yarn yesterday, and I have 14 skeins of yarn from this dyer, just from the past, like, three months. And all of it except these three are mushroom yarn. Like, she did a mushroom collection. But these are the ones that came yesterday. I got three skeins of Lightly Toasted, which I think was the July colorway. She does, like, a monthly colorway. And I got these three because I figured they would uh, be an almost sweater quantity. I can supplement one extra color um, paired with them from Stash, probably, to make something really nice. I got fuzz on my finger, but they're so beautiful. I got those, and then I also got Progress Keepers from Sucre Sucre Miniatures. Let's see if I can get this open real quick. Pardon the crinkle. Oh, look. Cardinals outside. A male and female pair. Okay. Here we go. They're still in this package, but they're not together now. First one is this banana split, which is one of my favorite desserts. I love a banana split, but you got to get it without the strawberry and the uh, pineapple topping, you have to get it with chocolate on all three sections. So it's basically just a chocolate banana sundae. And then the last one I got is a strawberry Pop-Tart because strawberry is my favorite flavor of Pop-Tart. I actually ordered another Pop-Tart progress keeper from uh, Simply Serving and it is on a project right now. But it was a wild berry Pop-Tart but then I saw the strawberry pop tart and I had to, I could not resist. So strawberry is actually my favorite. And then the last thing I got were candles. I got two from my favorite candle maker, uh, Ritual Burn. She is from my hometown of Columbia and super nice. But this one is a spell candle poured for inspiration and manifestation. And it has tiger's eye in it and florals, floral botanicals. And oh, it smells so good. 
And then this one is hallowed ground. It is for clearing and grounding. And this one also smells so good. Oh my God, this one smells really like wintry. It's got like lavender and rosemary and sage. Oh, it's just lovely. And it looks like it has amethyst in it, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh God, it's so good. But I just got a little bit of the Singo Muse. Um, she doesn't offer small candles in all of her flavors, flavors, but I got a small one of this one to keep on my desk to try it out and see how inspiring it is. It smells like uh, citronella, bergamot, lemongrass, and cedar. And it smells so spicy and tasty. She's actually just now, she just announced that she is going to be making big boy candles. So I'm excited to order one of those. But yeah, that was my big, my big haul yesterday. Good morning. I hope you're enjoying these clips of me getting gradually greasier and greasier. But today is hair washing day, so. I'm bound to look a little greasy, but it's gonna be my last day of clips for this vlog because I was able to go to Ikea yesterday. I didn't get everything I wanted. Walking up the stairs and talking isn't a good idea. Okay, yes, and anyways, I wasn't able to get everything I wanted. They were out of stock of a lot of stuff, but I was able to get another Uvar at the very least. So, I'm gonna show you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. I'm just gonna show you what I got yesterday. And then I'm gonna to spend today putting the studio together. I have a little confidence that I'll be able to get it mostly looking in a finished state. There are still a couple things I want to get, but I don't know when I'll be able to get them. And I want to get a studio tour done, so we'll see. But let me flip you around because I also got some happy mail yesterday and I wanna show you what I got in the mail too. So let me flip you around. All right, so in Ikea yesterday, I picked up one of these. It's one of those pull-out drawers that you attach to your Ivar units. And I was wanting to put it on here, but I don't think it can actually go on the wide Ivar units. I think it has to go on the narrow ones like this. So it might be going here instead. I am trying to decide still, um, cause I could move that one up a notch and have plenty of room for all of my stuff down here in that drawer. And it would still be useful to like put shit in. So I got that. I wanted to order a pegboard, but they were out of pegboards and I didn't really want to go through it. So I ended up getting a couple of accessories for the pegboard, but not the pegboard itself. Just cause they came with it. Trash is starting to accumulate because of all of the orders and stuff and putting stuff together, but that'll be, you know, remedied here shortly. Um, I have a spot for all of this stuff. This is all of my knit and crafting whips. It's got my crochet whips, one embroidery whip, a couple of knit whips in it, and all of that is going to go on the shelf. So this is my new Ivar. It's a little one. I didn't want to get another big one, but I'm really happy with the size of it. I got a short one, but I got a deep one because I wanted it deep enough to hold this printer, which is just my office printer because all my fancy, my fancy printer is in the back room. But it holds this, it holds the paper and label paper for it for my Etsy orders. And I'm working, I don't know what I'm doing with this shelf yet. I think this is gonna stay here. I think that's where all my whips are gonna go, all of this. And then up here is going to be like where I have some little decor items. I'll have, you know, a candle lit up here because it's a good safe place for a candle. I won't be working here and there's nothing above it. I think I'm gonna keep my paperwork up here, like just general house and art paperwork stuff. My filing cabinet is really too small 
but I'll, I'll make it work. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing down here or with the rest of what's up here yet. And I'm not sure if that's staying like that. It's the most practical way to have it, but it's not very pretty. So I have some playing around to do today. I need to figure out something to do with this stuff. This is all art, things that need frames and hung on the wall or a couple of things that have frames already. This pile is gonna go get put away. I need to figure out what to do with this pile. I need to unpack that box. I need to get all this trash downstairs. And I really think, oh, and I need to clean this off. And I really think I'm getting close. Y'all, I think I'm getting close. But yeah, I'm gonna attach this drawer today, this thing. And yes, now let me show you what I got in the mail yesterday. I got an order from Little Lionhead Knits. I had a bunch of my, all my self-striping yarns out because I was looking to see if my new mini set from Little Lionhead Knits matched any of them. This is my order from Little Lionhead Knits. Oh my God, I got two sock sets and I got her fall mini skein set, which is absolutely gorgeous just all together as a set of colors. But I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet. I don't know if I'm going to be pairing them with these because obviously some of these do go really well. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm actually going to do something with them together. Uh, but these are the sock sets I got. I got the Great Smoky Mountains sock set. Because I'm a sucker for the Great Smoky Mountains because my mom is from rural Appalachia. And it's uh, very much, very much feels like home to me. And I got the apple picking sock set, which is the most delicate fall colorway I've ever seen in my life. But oof, I'm not even a fan of mints normally, but this is just so fun. I don't know. I love it. And then I'll put these back. I have my sock set basket here. Those are my second and third sock sets from... Um, Little Lion Head Knits. I love her stuff. Every colorway she makes is like pristine. I honestly had to hold myself back so hard to just order those things. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, I got my pre-order from the Kinetic Knitter. She released pre-orders, or she opened up pre-orders for this amazing color. It's called Tiger's Eye. Like, can you even? It's It looks just like Tiger's Eye. And I'm a sucker for Tiger's Eye. So I ordered one of these. It is a, a strong sock. It's a 7525 uh, Superwash BFL in nylon instead of Superwash Merino. So I got that. And last but not least, y'all, my sock yarn uh, shelf is getting getting a little ridiculous. Because don't forget, I have those Desert Eye Works ones over there too. I had... Well, three of these are just the Desert Vista Dye Works. These also came in the mail recently. I got Pumpkin Pie and I got Trick or Treat for Halloween and Fall Stripe Socks colorways. And this was a, this is George. I got this one a while back. It was the first one I ordered from her. And then this is actually not Desert Vista Dye Works. This is Fiber Nymph Dye Works. And I got this at a local yarn, yarn store. I actually pulled a couple of things out of my stash to start my Louisiana Street shawl because I wanted to cast it on. It's been, this, the colors I got for it were legitimately at the bottom of my stash. I've had them for like the longest. And I wanted something, I finished a pair of socks that I was working on and I wanted something that was really potato chippy and really uh, mindless and that I could just work on. So I started, I grabbed those. And went ahead and started that. It's pretty fall colors. I, I uh, figured a shawl would be a good option for some fall knitting. But yeah, this, this shelf is getting a little out of control. My sock yarn shelf. These are my finished socks from my uh, sibling for, for their birthday. Out of the Explorer Knits Roma sock set. They ended up looking, ooh, pardon me. They ended up looking super nice. But yeah, I have plenty of sweater quantities to tide me over for quite a while, 
but I've been thinking that um, there are going to be a couple of yarn drops here soon, one in particular, that I feel like I'm probably going to want to really shop, and I've been trying to decide what I want to, what I need in my stash. Um, and I might get another DK weight sweater quantity, because like I said, there was some here and I'm using it now. So technically, I only have one DK weight, DK weight sweater quantity. So I might need to get DK, but I need to pick patterns ahead of time so that I know kind of what I'm shopping for, if I need just one color or multiple colors. But we'll see. Oh, but not only is that my sock yarn, but don't forget I also have sock sets up here in this basket because I keep my sock sets separate because I'm extra as hell like that. But I probably need to start working my way through some of these too. <laughs> this one I ordered and it is so beautiful from Holly Press Fibers. Oh, pardon me. It's so beautiful. It's excessively fond of a cottage. It's from her Sense and Sensibility series. And I honestly, like, you can see, I don't have, like, I have barely any pink. I have, like, one with pink in it. But I don't have, like, any pink in stash. And I honestly love pink. Like, I do. This one has kind of pinkish tones in it, but it's mostly, like, rusty reddish color. So I ordered one with pink, and I loved it. And I think I'm going to make a pair of socks for me out of it and a Christmas present out of it because I have a friend who would really love those colors, too. But this one, this one, and this one are all Little Lion Head Knits um, sock sets. This one's Sorella yarn. These two are Explorer Knits uh, Italy colorways, like the pair of socks I just showed you that I had finished. And then, like I said, this is Holly Press Fibers. I guess that's not unreasonable. I have a sock set coming from Sorella's Hocus Pocus collection as well, but just one. I was... I was good. I told myself I just needed one. And oh my god, I cannot get over these colors. They're so gorgeous. Everything she does is exactly my taste. Little lion head knits. Like it's it's exactly what I would do if I dyed yarn. But yeah, that's it for right now. This is let me flip you around and say goodbye to you properly. Alright. That's it. I just wanted to show you real quick uh, some of the yarn goodies I got in the mail and also uh, my new shelf that I'm so happy I have. But I'm going to work today. I need to, today is payday, so I need to pay bills. And then I'm gonna get to working in here and I'm gonna try and get it completely set up. And I might take a shower and film a podcast. I'm not 100% sure yet because the lighting today is, it's very overcast. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but it's just super overcast today. So I don't know if the lighting's going to be great for a podcast. I'll have to see. I'll feel it out once the time comes. But Brad's working all day today and I'm home all day today. I don't have to go anywhere for work. So I'm going to get work done here and enjoy my time alone. So I'm going to also try to get this vlog up for you guys so that you can have something to see. A little bit of an update about actual things that have been happening. So... Keep your eyes peeled for an actual studio tour soon. I'll show you details. I will show you like things that are on walls and all, all of the stuff. But I don't think I'm gonna go into detour, detail on the actual, my actual stash. I'll like point general areas out, but I think I might do a stash tour because that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a stash tour. I also have an, a couple of orders that I'm really excited about coming in. I placed an order for a pre-order for the Explorer Knits Italy collection. I, you know, all the sock sets that I got. I ordered those. I managed to get those on her first sale, which sold out in like four minutes. But I also placed a pre-order for a sweater quantity, and that should be shipping eight, like now. She should be shipping. She said she's shipping today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Today's Friday. She said she's shipping the last pre-orders out. So once that gets here, I think I'm gonna do a stash tour and I'm really excited about it. But yeah, all right, that's all I got. That's all I got. Thanks so much for joining me on this vlog today. I will see you guys in the next one.